Welcome back, folks. I'm MCG Joe. We're here with some more Throne of Eldraine Standard, uh, and we're brewing. Uh, so this is a list I threw together. It is a Demir Flash or Tempo style list. So similar to Simic Flash, uh, we're playing out all our spells basically on our opponent's turn. We're either countering or removing threats or flashing in one of our own creatures. Um, what black brings to the equation that green doesn't is actual hard removal. Uh, so that's ability to deal with stuff once it actually resolves. What we lose is basically Frilled Mystic and uh, Wolf Boy, uh, Alpha Wolf, uh, Night Pack Ambusher. Uh, so we're kind of playing a little bit different game here. Uh, so to walk you through the list, we have a lot of common things you'll see from the Simic version. Uh, and then I'll walk you through what I added from a Demir standpoint. So we have our Spectral Sailors and Ops, which were standard in the old list. We have Brineborn, Cutthroat, Quench, and Essence Capture. Uh, so counters, creatures that get bigger, stuff of that nature. Uh, we're playing four Brazen Borrowers, uh, Tempo to Bounce, uh, Non-Line Permanence. Uh, it can also be a, an effective body as a 3-1. Uh, four Sinister Sabotage as well. Uh, and then what we're adding into this list in particular with the Demir Splash, we have three Drown in the Lock. So this is a counter spell or removal spell based on the number of cards in your opponent's graveyard. Uh, so this scales well to the late game. It's basically a two mana counter uh, any type of spell later in the game. We also have three Tyrant Scorn. So this is early removal versus creatures, but also we can bounce our own creatures either against the board wipe, against targeted removal, anything like that. Um, what I actually used it a few times in testing was to bounce my own Spectral Sailor uh, when they tried to Legion's End it, so they didn't get the ability and they couldn't sweep up more with just one card. Uh, we also are playing four Murderous Riders, so this is catch-all removal. Uh, usually once, say we're playing like Jeskai uh, Super Friends, or yeah, Jeskai Super Friends uh, Fire Fires, uh, this can deal with the Planeswalkers, which we usually have a harder time dealing with once they resolve. This can also get rid of a Teferi as a clean answer. And then on the back side, it's a 2 mana, sorry, 3 mana, 2 3 with lifelink that can help us race against the aggro decks. Uh, wrapping it up, I got one Chemister's Insight just as a, kind of a, a draw spell. Um, you can play another Spectral Sailor if you'd like. I like to have just the card draw with the ability to jumpstart if need be if we flood. And then one card I want to try out, I'm just doing a one of right now, I don't know if we want to go to more right now, it's Lockmere Serpent, so this is a six mana, and part of the reason why I don't want to go more, 7-7 uh, seven, seven Flash, uh, you can sacrifice an island, it, become, it can't be blocked, you can sacrifice a swamp and draw a card, uh, and you can exile five cards from an opponent's graveyard and return it from the graveyard to your hand, and then this is a way to kind of get recursive value out of it. Mana base wise, I got the four watery graves, one dismal backwater, uh, blue castle, black castle, um, and then I'm playing four fable passage. Uh, I like the fact that it can come into play untapped for later turns and just fix our mana, as opposed to the always come into play tap lands. Um, so that's something to look at sideboard wise. Got some duress when we need versus control, uh, disdainful stroke versus like the Nisa big green matchups. Uh, even like Golos Field, it does a good job of dealing with that. We got Negates versus like the counter base matchups. Uh, then we have Black Lance Paragon, Paragon. So that is kind of for the green base matchups. It comes in and it's an ambush viper with death touch and lifelink, so it can help in those matchups. Some Legion's End, some Noxious Grasp, and an Elder Spell to wrap it up. So it's pretty much the list. We'll run it through some ranked matches, see how it goes, and we'll take it from there. Uh, thanks, Halgram, for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate the support. Um, so let's run it through. I got to uh, Platinum last night uh, playing Jeskai Fires. That will be the list I play. Uh, where'd you go? List. Where'd Demir go? Demir, Demir, Demir. Demir. Uh, that's the list I'm going to play tomorrow uh, at the uh, Win Any Card event. I like the fact that it's a best of one deck that we can uh, have a sideboard for with uh, Fae of Wishes. Um, and as always, if you're picking up cards with Throne being released, that you're picking up physical cards off TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link that I usually include in my video descriptions on YouTube. If you 
follow the link, do your purchase as normal. It's a free and easy way to support the channel. Otherwise, uh, similar to Halgram, uh, if you do have the capacity and can subscribe on Twitch, uh, it does help out the channel. Otherwise, just uh, liking the videos on YouTube, subscribing on YouTube, following on Twitch, or just letting people know about the channel are all free ways you can help things out here. Okay, so since they're going a Boreal Grazer here, I'm probably going to go just opt this turn. Uh, I actually like the Quench, I think. So we'll keep that. Because the Spectral Sailor can attack into the Boreal Grazer. Uh, of course, we draw into another one. Hey Quantum, how's it going? So that feels good there, getting an Oko out of the way. So this will go get us our black source. I don't want to crack it yet until the and give the opponent more information. Uh, I think the goose is fine to resolve. Like in the scheme of things of stuff we want to counter, that's not it. Same with second goose. Okay, so this looks like the Bant Ramp deck. Yeah, Fabled Passage is actually really good. I pulled um, the full art version out of my collector's booster pack yesterday, which I was super excited for. It was like the one card other than the full art, uh, full alternate art Brazenboro. Okay, so we're just not drawing lands this game. So Quench becomes a little less useful. Um, so we can kill a goose, which I think we just do. Start taking them off their ability to make mana. Because this all feeds like Okos and stuff in the future. Okay, so Brineborn's not bad. It's something we can come down with after. I really would just like another land to be able to um, like quench and Brineborn. They're getting to the point where they'll have enough mana regardless. Um... So fairy is kind of gross anyways, so they're going to bounce. I am not going to sit this one out. Ooh, they I'll plus. Protect. That does turn off most of our deck, unfortunately. So we need to dig for Murderous Rider here. It's a free attack, they're not going to kill anything here. Okay, so we got the Murderous Rider for next turn, and then we can hold up uh, Essence Capture Quench. They'll likely sack the land, make another food token. And then like these quench, we got to the point of the game where they're not useful. May have made sense to get rid of these geese. At the very least, it's just a lot of life they can gain. But they're probably playing Fight Wolf. So they can just, uh, just mass manipulation. I guess it's a way for them to refill their hand. I've got time. 
Okay, so we got Brazen Borrower as well, so we can bounce the Spectral Sailor to our hand. You just let me know if you're round two. Uh, we just passed turn here. So this is the one thing I like about the black version. In traditional, like, Simic, once the fairy comes down, you have a hard time dealing with it. If they don't do anything, I'm just gonna... Brazen Borrower back the Spectral Sailor. This also would make it three power so we can attack in. Odd that they do that now. I don't know if that's what they intended. Not sure what the opponent's up to. The nice thing is if they go for like a big mana sync spell, Quench does have text. Yeah, I'm going to play Just Guy Fires with the, um, like, the wish board. So for best of one, I liked it because you can put in as many, like, random answers and then you can cast. I'll show it after uh, this match, the list I'm going to play. We played it last night. We went 7-3 and three with it, but two of the losses were before I tweaked the sideboard. Uh, then we went, like, 5-1 and one with it, so it was pretty solid overall. So I'm just going to pass turn here. We have the counters if need be. And then if not, we just drop some creatures down and then smash in. They do have quite a bit of life to gain at the very least. Yeah, we tried the Jun version. Um, it wasn't as good. Uh, just having the uh, access to like four Clarions really helps the aggro matchup, I think. And then the time wipes are also good. Plus then you get Kaya's Wrath in the sideboard, which is pretty sweet. And I like the fact that I can go, uh, what is it? Uh, in a Jeskai deck, always go search Nico Bolas. It was like the main way I won. I just tried to find any excuse to search Nico Bolas. Okay, so they gain the life here, but we're just gonna essence capture this. And put a counter. Yeah, Grixis Fires is pretty sweet. I haven't played it yet, but I've watched like quite a few videos of like Mogwai playing it, and it looked pretty fun. Um, I think I think we let this go, right? Like in the scheme of things, it's not that impactful. And then just opt, try to find another land maybe. Because we're a little short on blue right now. Okay, cool. Got another Brineborn. They're taking quite a bit of damage. And it feels like it has good catch up mechanics. Um, I think we, we tax them on their mana, or we just let it resolve, I think. Did you play a main board, or did you play the enchantment sideboard? Um, so I'm gonna do... This first, it puts another counter on it. I just want to hold up the counters first, so we That's don't get the Brineborn. It's still an 8-8, which I like. So we could go Brineborn main. I gotta try that out.
No, because so it loses its ability, but the counters are not on the creature, like the a part of the ability. Um, so here, yeah, got him. It's the same with Nisa token uh, lands. You take it from being a land, but um, it still is uh, like a. You still get the counter, so the lands become six six, but they don't tap for mana anymore. So in this matchup, I'm gonna add in Noxious Grasp, Elder Spell. Uh, maybe keep. I'm gonna get rid of the Quench. They don't seem as good. Uh, Legions and perhaps. So we could go Duress. This can deal with Oko and Nisa on the stack, but if they get to Fairy down. I think we just run it like this, cut one thing. The sailors seem pretty lackluster to be honest. So maybe we just cut the sailors, bring in a couple duress. The Tyrant Scorn can also get rid of, uh, what's his name? Hydrate Crisis. Drown in the Locks, okay. Legion's End can get rid of the Grazers and the Birds early. Um, oh, they're probably going to bring in uh, Shifting Ceratops. Let's just go down and Essence Capture. Run it back like that. If we need the Legion's End, we'll play the Legion's End. Um... This is just a deck I brewed together, so some of them I'll just do kind of standalone decks. I wanted to try out the Demir style, um, but it's pretty cheap because a lot of the cards are not, like, a lot of the good cards are uncommon. Uh, thanks, Boomer Splat, for the follow. Um, similar to Flash, it's not too costly. I think we try this. We have Opt to try to find us into, like, a creature I'm a little concerned with the two turn two to fairy we also don't have counters up but we'll try it out okay so they have the goose we can't deal with the goose on turn one but we do have murderous riders so that can deal with their planeswalker the following turn We're gonna have a hard time anyways, probably on the play against like a turn two. Yeah. Uh, don't want the scorn. Oh, noxious grass, really good. Hopefully they get and they get greedy, so we get to deal with it this turn too. And they don't necessarily have. If they miss a land drop, then we're okay. I have Murderous Rider with Tyrant Scorn and Opt Up. Oh, that's perfect. Um, I think we just passed the turn. So I can kill it, but I think we just wait. I did have to decide between having both Opt and Tyrant Scorn up or the Murderous Rider. They didn't have the lands, which could, like, uh, an untapped land, so they might have had a 3 drop there. From a tempo play, I could also just bounce with Brazen Borer. They would get an opening where if they play Oko, they could create uh, this into 3-3. Three, three. So let me opt first, see what we're dealing with. Actually, like, sabotage there. Just get rid of the goose. Um, 
so we have the castle here let's just drop that I may be inclined to just start getting some pressure on them with the brazen borer this turn like if they go Nisa we're okay here Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Because they're gonna get to the point where they play multiple spells per turn. So this is a good clock, at least. I like this deck because a lot of the cards are really flexible. You have removal creature, like tempo creature. And you can make your decision of if you need to be defensive, offensive, whatever it may be. Let's see what they do here. If they just go with like a bait spell, I can always bounce it with Brazen Borrower. I would like to see another blue source. Um, I think that's fine to resolve. And then I just kill it. I'd rather keep the counter. And then just go. Um, I think against resolve threats, it's probably better. I would actually really like to play the Simic matchup to see how this goes. Uh, Night Pack Ambusher is the best card out of both the decks. The fact it's one creature, plus Frilled Mystic being both a counter spell and a creature has some pretty good utility. We're just going to counter that. Don't want the land here. They'll gain some life, they'll get some cards, but really we just want to keep the board clear to attack in. I just find with Simic, if people go wide, you have an issue. If they resolve a threat, like you end up, like a resolve to fairy becomes very difficult to deal with. You can also gain some life now, which is nice. This can deal with Oko or anything like that. Even against the Nisa here, I can opt, I can Brazen Borrow, bounce the land, and I can Noxious Scraps the Nisa. Also, with the life we're gaining, we can uh, look to start drawing some cards with Castle. Um, here, I gotta opt. Yeah, I think we're fine with Brineborn. Like, it's just another threat. They gotta deal with this. And, like, these don't make sense for them to bounce, necessarily. I have an Oxious Grasp anyways for this guy. And, like, Yak gives him a target for this, but that's pretty much it. And if that's all their follow-up is, a growth spiral, then I'm pretty okay. Because they don't have creatures down, I could just attack into Teferi. I would like to see another island. I will be quite pleased if we can beat a Teferi deck early. Thanks, John been a uh, nice little growth on the channel. Throne of Eldraine has been really helpful. Okay, so they create a 3-3. So here I can... So let's do this. Let's go... Petty Theft...
you. Can't quite. Okay, so they got Veil of Summer. It's fine if they're gonna Veil there. Uh, in this particular matchup, Teferi's worse for us. Oh shit, that actually Noxious grasps us. Out. Which is a little annoying. Okay, I gotta get Teferi off the board. I can deal with Oko this turn. Like, on this turn. I should have said stop in their upkeep and dealt with Oko. They can make this a 3-3. Three, three. Um, I still think Teferi's more disruptive. Teferi get, draws you a card. It forces you to play kind of Hearthstone-y magic where you're not actually playing against anyone. Like, in our deck, we have to change our whole philosophy where we can't be this tempo deck. Oko's kind of a speed bump. But if Oko on a clear board can win the game, Teferi just stalls the game. So this could be mass manipulation. Okay, so they got Teferi here. Hopefully not another veil. Wallow in your deceit. I don't mind the Teferi here. I'm known for my excellent timing. They could bounce something, but again, Trust me, I, have a plan. I don't really mind that. Oh, they countered one of our brazens so we don't get the flip side. No blocks. This could be a board wipe. Yeah. So it does set us back a little. We could have drawn a card, but I think we just go like this. Sounds good, Bowsy. Have a good one. I am not making this up as I go. So they got the Ceratops. A little bit of a roadblock here. Would like to see a murderous rider. And they got the Krasis. Maybe stabilizing here. Okay, Drown in the Lock can deal with the Krasis. We're going to have to sacrifice one of them, but it's worth it. This is hardly my worst defeat. And then just end the turn. Depending what they play, we could bounce it. We can also draw a card here. It's a close match, so I don't feel like conceding just yet. Looks like they got rid of some of their smaller things. Ah, shit. That's not good. So now they're going to kind of outgrind us. See if we get a murderous rider. So we can bounce and counter. So maybe that's how we do it. Not the best. Because we're also taking five per turn. 
and they're also gonna gain like what would feel like infinite mana that's fine Alright, sorry for the little blip. Uh, we lost this one, so we'll just concede this. Stream cut out there for a second. Um, so on the play, I might want the Black Lines Paragon. Probably the Quench. Like, it's tricky, because we need an early game to deal with. Yeah, I think it's just... Uh, just cut out there. So probably keep it like this. Maybe the Spectral Sailors aren't too bad in the end. As like an early play, gives us some sort of tempo. Ah, oops. Let's just get rid of the Sailors. And one cut. Tyrant Scorns, probably a little lackluster. This can deal with uh, Ceratops. Let's just run it like that. I think my wife's streaming that flicks downstairs. I'm hard lined, but. Gotta tell her to get off. I probably keep this. Got Brazen Borrower on two. If we need to bounce something early, I can get rid of a goose. If not, just drop Brineborn down. Ah, oh, shit. I screwed that up. This is going to come into play on tap. So land one time. Land one time. Ah. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. Now they're going to drop to Fairy. Oh, that's pretty sweet. No! I would have had... Oh. That's so bad. No! Um, I think I just gotta do this. Oh, their hand is like nothing. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, castle. We played one black castle. If their hand was like gas, then I would have shame scooped. Kind of want a black source here. We got another goose. Are you kidding me? Uh, the event starts at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's a weird time, or like Pacific. It's like late tonight. I think we shame scoop. Missing the land. If they don't play another threat out here, if I can deal with the Oko, then I'm probably okay. We're taking a little bit of damage. Welcome to the feast. Yeah, I have one serpent. We've yet to cast it, Serenity. This isn't a fight you can win. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna shame scoop. Just shame scoop. Stupid castle. Alright, we played pretty well at the beginning and then Um so this is the deck. Uh, if you ever want to see the decks, I always have the kind of widget app through Aether Hub on the side there. Yeah, I only got one. Um, so this is the deck. It's basically kind of like a Simic Flash deck, but we're playing black for hard removal. We got Drown in the Lock, Tyrant Scorn, Lock Mirror Serpent one of some Murderous Riders. Sideboard-wise, just a whole bunch of removal. I um, think we still keep it like this. We might... I think I'm going to get rid... Uh, nah. Let's go down one negate. 
Let's go up another Noxious Grasp. Can't beat... Uh... I'm just going to reset Arena really quick and then we'll get going again. I usually find with Arena, once we hit like 40 minutes of gameplay, it freezes up. I'm going to run this deck. Uh, disdainful Strokes, kill them before they kill us. And um, I got one Legion Zen. We're not going to win the long game with Golos, so we got to try to kill them before that. Um, the Murder Siders could deal with Golos. We could counter their creatures and then just try to out-tempo them and then try to kill them before. Um, so this is the list. I'm going to run it through a best of one, see how it plays there. I usually like playing a mix um, to see just in case some people like playing best of one, some like playing best of three. I really want to play against the flash deck to see which flash version is better. See how that goes. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. And we're going to get a island. Yeah, I'm going to play Jeskai Fires. Uh, I'll show the list after this. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, after the reset. So it's pretty much Ali Eldrazi's list that he played at the last uh, like eSports League. But I switched to put one Fires in the sideboard. So it can be searched with uh, Fae of Wishes. And then I brought a Chandra mainboard. And then I brought down one uh, Fabled Passage in place of another Blue Castle, uh, just for the ability to scry. And then sideboard-wise, I just tweaked it because we're playing best of one. He had counter spells in it for the best of three matchup. It's probably Jeskai Fires. Um, so I just brought in a couple extra like threats. Most of the time, as soon as I can, I go search Nico Bolas and then just play Nico Bolas. Oh, that really skipped through our turn quickly. Um, I think we just do... Do we bounce it for the Brazen Borrower and then put Essence? Yeah, it has, Ess it has Dragon God in the sideboard. I'm just going to bounce it, because then I can set up uh, a Brazen Borrower turn, and then I can Essence Capture on top of it. I can probably... So they Spyglass here. It's fine. Yeah, we were playing it yesterday, so if you missed this, uh, the game's Quantum, I have it up on YouTube, I posted it this morning. We played about 10 best of one games, 7 and 3 with the list, I think. Two of the losses came early, um, where we were still tweaking the sideboard, and then just learning the deck. One game I just never drew red mana against mono red, I had Clarion in hand and then nothing else. Okay, what did they name? Spectral Sailor. So this is a spot I like to be. We have all the permission in the world. I can Essence capture their first creature to make this 4 power. Speeds up the clock. Pop that there. That's fine. I can Spectral Sailor and hold up Counter Magic. So that kind of screws up what we want to do, so I'm going to counter that. Don't think I want the land. So here I'm going to hold up the ability to bounce and play Brazen Borrower. 
depending what we play. Quench is going to become a little less useful. Um, so we could spy glass again. I think we just make them make the first move. Mildly annoying because we can't draw cards, but that's fine. Let's go get a island. Okay, Brineborn's actually really good here. It'll speed the clock up. This is my favorite type of magic, where you don't let the opponent play magic. Um, I'm fine with... No, actually. Let's do this. Let's do this. So what I can do this turn is I can brazen borrow this away and then draw a card off Spectro Sailor. I can't bounce my own target in online. That's fine. I wasn't going to be able to protect it anyways by making it grow big enough. Sorry about that if it crapped up. Arena is not being a friend. So they just played a Gideon out. We'll draw two cards. So we've seen this murderous rider, so we'll just do this. We got an ad. Uh, just keep it like this. Pretty much got this game wrapped up. Sorry about the disconnect. Arena was not cooperating. Yeah, it's been like really... We cast a spell and it froze because we had priority apparently when we had no mana open. Let's just flex on them. Yeah, it's been kind of uh, shoddy, to say the least. Okay, so we took the game there. Ah, it's not bad for you, but terrible. Uh, oh, you were 7 and 0, oh, and then went 7 2. Uh, so, this is the Jeskai Fires list that I'm going to be playing tomorrow, uh, for those asking. So, pretty standard. You. Wishboard, Shimmer, Narset finds your fires, Drawn from Dreams draws you gas, Swe Six Sweepers main, Bunch of Planeswalkers main, and then uh, pretty standard mana base. I got some Interplanar Beacons for life gain, the Vantress is a mana sink, and then the sideboard is uh, it's a beauty. Donahope, Elder Spell, Ashiok, Oko, True Love's Kiss for enchantments, artifacts, the fires that we can search for. Uh, Kaya's Wrath. Uh, Johnny was for the aggro matchups just to gain life. Um, then Bolas, Command, Chandra, Ethereal Absolution versus Weenies, Casualties, Plain Wide Mass. I might get rid of the Ethereal Absolution for either another Kaya's Wrath or another Nico Bolas. Probably for another Nico Bolas, actually. I'm going to do that now. It deals with Oko. I really hope we. I don't see Simic Flash. It was the only deck that I had a hard time with the Jeskai version with. Um, but this one... This deck's been pretty solid so far. Like, we lost to that Teferi match because of our punt with the mana and they got under us. Uh, let me run one more. Best of one, and then we'll uh, wrap it up on this one. Give Arena a break if it's gonna... Yeah, uh, John, it's up on YouTube. Uh, you can check it out there. I put it two or three days ago. Um, the first few games are 
kind of a dumpster fire. It got a lot better as we played more games. I tweaked up the original list quite a bit. Um, Theater of Horrors is actually a really good mana sink for the deck. I'm going to keep this hand. And we are going to play the castle first. Learning lessons. What the hell? <laughs> Frid Sa Frilled Sanwala. Alright. You do you, homie. So if they activate the Growth Chamber Guardian, I'm going to Tyrant Scorn it. It's clearly Constructed All-Star, Frilled Sanwala. A 1 mana, pump 2 to give it plus 2, 2, can only activate it once per turn. Constructed All-Star. Kinda wish we had a second blue source. Ah, uh, like, they're above gold rank, so I would have to imagine it's something decent. They don't even pump. Oh shit. We talk too much shit. Um, gonna have to do that. And just try to race them. It is the constructed all star. So I can smash him for five. Um, so they pump that, probably just bounce it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Who mainboard Ceratops? We're just going to try to race them at this point. We need a uh, murderous rider. Feel a lot better if we drew that. Okay, that actually can't deal with it either. Um, let's do this now. Can't believe we're actually gonna lose to this. Yeah, <laughs> we're so dead. So dead. So dead. We talk shit about frilled Sanwala. You build these decks to like take down all the tier stuff and then you get taken down by Sanwala. Alright, so my next budget build series is going to be Sanwala Tribal. Playing that in the event. Okay, sounds a lot better. At least against us, it's unbeaten. I thought for a sec this was Sanwala again. Um, I think we get rid of this. I know how to appropriately rate this card. When you lead with Sanwala, you don't know what you're in for. Okay, this is just, uh, could be mono green ramp. Um... I think we just pass the turn. Gives us the most options. Are you kidding me? What's with everyone on this these blue things? So I'm doing this now. Um, because I could double Brineborn next turn, or Brineborn and Brazen Borrower. Yeah, thank god we had the... Watch, they're gonna come with another one. That's fine. I'm gonna bounce the Oko. The Brambles of Truth 
twirl and curl, choking out lies. I invite you to change your ways. I think we actually do this. Just attack in here. And then go from there. So the reason I bounced that is I could have bounced the Leaf Kindred. In this land, we are all connected. The land shall conquer you. Okay, let's see if they attack in. This was one of the decks I was considering as well. Attack in. Attack in. I will throw a Brazen Borrower in front of it. Bro, let's go. Let's go! Um. Yeah, let that resolve. Oh, loyalty is fickle and fragile. Yeah, let's do this. Take some off the land as well. Oh, you can't block. You are an idiot. I always forget this thing can't block. Deal some damage in the air. Um... Go Murderous Rider. Gives us another body. No, I think we just go Brineborn. Or could I have? So two, three. Oh, I could have done it all. I forgot the staffs for mana. Rise, my elemental friend. Yorvo. It's going to be difficult to deal with. Trying to. You are a few turns too late, and you are not what we want either. Um, I think we just keep them off lands. Okay, so that's a good way to deal with. With that guy. You can deal some damage to Nisa. Okay, so tap you. Actually, do I want to do that? No. Nah. Because at least this way I can bounce and then drop another flyer down. Hopefully is in a hydrate crisis. It's probably a hydrate crisis, which will then have to bounce that. Ah, that's a good draw for them. Just block here. Tap you for mana. Return that to the hand. Yeah, we're kind of stabilizing versus them. 
But when crazies come down, then we're gonna have a hard time. Okay, sick. That is a good one. So these can't block anyways, so smash in. I cannot protect you anymore. And then at the very worst, this just blocks. It also makes this a lot smaller when it comes down this turn because they don't double up the mana. I wonder if we play Thought Erasure in this deck. It does make us so we can't uh, hold up mana on turn two. So let's see what they fight. I can respond to it. You just fight there. That's... I'm comfortable with that fight. Because here we just uh, kill the Yorvo. Okay, we got the castle. It's actually a pretty decent race. Throw this in front of Brineborn, probably. Ah, oh, shit. Why did I talk? Why did I talk? I don't think we could race them now. The land fights for us. Nice has a lot of value. Free attack. I don't know why they're not attacking here. So they have nine points, so we gotta do this anyways. Uh, that's not what we want. And that's also not what we want. Yeah, we're dead. So so with this deck it had some elements. I think this is probably better suited for best of three. Or we main board Noxious Grasp as another alternative. That could be another way. So this is the event when's it come? Ten hours? So that'll be for tonight. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. We've played the deck for about an hour now. Got a pretty good feel for it. Uh probably some promise, but we wanna probably work around the edges. Drown in the Lock might need to see a 4 of, or I honestly think Noxious Grasp with all the green going around is probably not a bad thing to main board. We didn't even get it, we didn't draw the Serpent, so I have no feelings on the Serpent. So maybe cut these two, play these tempo style cards, lower your curve, drop a land, and then uh, play three Noxious Grasps main. That's probably where I would settle on the deck, uh, but it was fun to play. When, lost a little bit more than we won, but for a brew, it's not too bad. Anyways, thanks for everyone tuning in today. Uh, I'll have this up on YouTube later today if you missed any part of it. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day or night. And hopefully you all 12-0. 12-0 this bad boy, and get your, your every card in standard. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.